In this video, we're going to be using Barrister and Man Fougere Angelique and the Maxwell June Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I want to remind you this video is brought to you in part by our sponsor Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and the Twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself some money when shopping at Leaf. All right, so today we have an excellent soap that sadly isn't available anymore, or at least not right now and that is Fougere Angelique and it has such a beautiful bright I would call it a citrusy sort of Fougere slightly powdery it is wonderful sadly it's not available and that's why I'm using it <laughs> for a head shape it's been a long time since I've used it it is so good and there's a look at the soap it's quite firm now I've had this for a couple of years probably I hope uh, Barrister and Man and Maggard will team up again for this one because it's really a great fougere scent. I absolutely love it. The quality of the soap is first rate. It's great in every respect. All right, the razor is going to be the Maxwell June. And I'm gonna try this razor again on the dome. And let me adjust the camera just a little bit there because I'm, I'm a little off my normal placement. Sorry about that. Sorry doing that right in the middle of the video. That's rude. <laughs> but anyway, this razor loads using a very interesting loading mechanism. I will link their video below so you can see how to load it. It uses double edge razor blades, but you put this one in the loading mechanism, press it down, and it puts the blades in there in a twin type fashion. And the first time I used this uh, razor for a head shape, I didn't care for it at all. I found it difficult to get that cutting angle. So the thing about this razor is, and it can be good or bad depending on how you use it, and it's really up to you to dial in the angle. You've got to get that cutting angle right. If you get the cutting angle right, it cuts well. If you don't get it right, it doesn't cut. And so on my head, the first shave, I just wasn't getting that angle down and I didn't have great results, but that was on me. This is a razor that I think if you're going around a lot of curves and contours like the head, you've got to learn to dial it in. And so the first shave, it wasn't great. And uh, again, that's me, that's not the razor because I've used this razor twice on my face and if you get the angle right, it cuts well. I really enjoyed it on my face, not so much on the dome. And again, that's me. I always admit when I make a mistake or I'm not doing well, I'll always tell you. And by the way, we have a nice lather. Probably can't see that sheen, but it's good. Oh, and I'm using the old classic Kong brush by Sterling. And boy, the stories the Kong could tell. That was, uh, I was told, if you've never seen that interview I did with uh, Rod and Mandy from probably a year and a half ago. Check it out. Uh, it is really, really awesome. And the Kong was one of those turning points for Sterling because at one point in time, they were hurting. They didn't know whether they were going to be able to continue. And, you know, they, they put out the Kong brush and uh, a lot of us really enjoyed it because at that time, larger knots were, you know, extremely expensive and they didn't really have large synthetic knots at all. So it was an entirely new thing at the time. And so... It really helped Sterling a lot, along with you know some other things that happened around that time. But uh, so I like to to use this is not my original Kong. At some point I stupidly sold it, but I picked this up last year or something because I wanted to have this sort of little piece of history. Because this is one of those uh, brushes, according to Rob, that was sort of uh, when he put this up for sale, it was sort of a pivotal moment for Sterling. And so I'm not using Sterling soap today, but Want to tell that story there a little bit anyway. Anyway, this soap, Fougere Angelique, awesome. I don't know about the uh, the other one. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but there was kind of a pair. This was the lighter one, and I really like it. I really like it a lot. And I hope that they will uh, make it again. All right, let's see how we do this time with the Maxwell June. I hope to do better. I'm not making any, <laughs> not making any promises, but. Last time I found I was just missing a lot of hair. So I'm going to try to be mindful of the angle and try to keep it at an optimum shaving angle. Because the first time I just found I was missing hair all over the place and it just wasn't a great shave. Um, but this time we'll see what we can do in the way of trying to do a little bit better of keeping that up. So when I'm going like this, it's feeling pretty good. I can see it cutting, but when I'm going around some of those curves, 
it's a little bit more difficult, like right there. Yeah, now I'm feeling it. You'd really have to get this angle right. And I think the angle that at which it cuts is relatively narrow. And I'm using light and easy pressure. Now, Subi, when he was using this, he said he was using more pressure than I was, but... I don't like to use a lot of pressure with uh, any sort of safety razors on the dome. Um, just because they're very sharp and especially when you have more than one blade. If you make a mistake, now you've got twice the problem. So there's the sort of drawback of having two blades. The benefit, of course, is when it's cutting, you know, you're getting, in theory, twice the cutting action, which is awesome. But also, when you make a mistake, you stand the potential of having twice the problem. So there is that. All right, so, so far it's feeling okay. I don't know how I'm doing yet, but you know, feeling okay. Here's where I tend to start when I'm going around these curves, I tend to start having some problems. I'm being more mindful to keep that razor cutting. And I'm just gonna do a little touching up there while I'm here, might as well do it. No reason not to. It's definitely cutting, I can see some stubble in there. So that's good. I love the way this razor loads. I know some people think it's gimmicky. It does use a proprietary loading base, but it's just 3D printed, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, some people have also commented that they think it's a little pricey for an aluminum razor at 100 bucks, and I understand that because most aluminum razors are not, not that price. So, you know, I hear you on that. Now, this one was sent to me by Maxwell June, although they did not sponsor the video. And I told them I didn't have a great head shave with it, and they said, hey, can you, can you work with us and give us some feedback? And I'm like, sure, you know. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna say so. You know, that's sort of where we landed, but they're like, hey, we'd love you to try it more. And I will say they've been very receptive to my feedback. Um, apparently, they're getting good feedback from a lot of people. Uh, but for me, you know, it's I'm it's proving to be a little bit difficult uh, on the dome. I think I'm doing better than the last shave, but I am feeling some spots there, you know, as I'm following up where I am just not, I'm not shaving well, as well as I normally do with this razor. Because, as I mentioned in my first video, I'm used to the leaf and that pivoting action. So once you get used to it, it's hard to go to something else, you know. I do think we're doing a better job today for what it's worth. I don't know how good it is. You know, we'll see in between passes. We'll feel around here and see how we're doing. Um, let's just continue going up this way. I normally don't, but why not? It's worth a shot. Definitely cutting, there's no question about it. This feels like a cart razor min minus the pivot. It's missing that pivot, which I think you know, tends to help me. But again, I'm using light pressure because I always do with, with safety razors. I use a little more pressure with carts and there might be a little more pressure required with this razor. That might be part of my issue is, you know, I need to uh, get to know it and bear down a little bit. I'm definitely seeing some stubble in there. So we're, we're getting something going. So no problem thus far, but again, I'm not sure at how good a level we're shaving just yet. We'll have to sort of check and see how we did after we finish these strokes and we'll do a little bit of cleaning up and see how it goes here. Let's go down that way a little bit and just a little bit of extra cleanup and then we'll sort of feel around and see what we have. So let's see, okay. I've got stuff here in my trouble area and I've got stuff. Eh, I would say I did better in some parts of my head. Um, I might not be using enough pressure, you know, um, that could be what it is. So let's go ahead and try just a little more. We're already 10 minutes in, but let's uh, do a little bit of cleaning up and see how we do. For me, it's just, I'm not clicking with this razor. 
uh, on the dome. Love it on the face. It's very intuitive on the face. Does a great job. I don't have to use much pressure on the dome. It's leaving a lot behind, or I should say I'm leaving a lot behind. So I would say my go is better this time, but it's still, it's not, um, it's not what it is with the leaf or the other razors I use on the dome regularly. And some of that's going to be expected because when you're not used to something, it does take time. So I would say you might, it, this might take you a little time to get used to on your head for, you know, at least it is for me. And so, um, for me, it's not, the head shaving experience hasn't been a home run, you know, from the get go. And sometimes razors are, sometimes they take a little time. This is a take a little time razor, I do believe. Um, but that's okay. That's not a deal killer, but I always call it like I see it, you know, and we, we use these products and sort of show you how it's going as we're going and, you know. So you can sort of learn along with me. You might pick up this razor and like, man, it was intuitive, it was a home run, but for me, I'm finding it just slightly, there we go. You can definitely feel it cut. Just slightly more difficult than what I'm used to with the leaf. And I attribute that really to the pivot and also the cutting angle. You just, you have to get it right. And I don't think I'm really nailing that. So let's uh, let's work on the back here a little bit. And I'm not going to make a super long video. So I'll work on this a little bit. And then uh, we'll come back and see uh, how we do. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. I worked with this razor and continued plugging. And I did end up getting a pretty good result. It took me quite a while to really dial it in. It still wasn't quite as close as what I'm used to. So this might be a razor for me on the dome that would take quite a while to get used to. One of the things I did notice is, as you can see, I hope you can see right there, uh, I did get a little bit of hair clogged in that middle portion and I tried to rinse it out and it's, it's being kind of stubborn, but it didn't affect the shaving um, performance uh, as far as I could tell. Overall, I would say my experience with this razor has been as follows. The two face shaves that I had with it were very, very good. I th thought it was a really nice shaver, smooth, uh, efficient, no problem. My two head shaves were just so-so, um, not super enjoyable. I much prefer the Leaf, but I've used the Leaf orders of magnitude more times than the Maxwell June. Uh, there are people who really love this for head shaving. For me, I find it hard to get it get as close as I'd like, but that's me. Uh, I find it hard for me to perform well with this razor. It's not that the razor isn't performing well. So I, I would say, you know, it's just sort of so-so for head shaving, thumbs up on the face shaving. So that's where I'll leave uh, the Maxwell June for now, at least. The soap was the Barrister and Man Fougere Angelique, which is absolutely terrific. It smells so good. I hope they will bring this back. I absolutely love it. We used the Sterling Kong brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, uh, after the I, after I finished the head shave, I should say, I did a rinse, towed off with the Lancaster, and then used the Magic Made by Witches. I'm gonna finish the shave off with the Fougere Angelique uh, Splash, which is really nice. I hope they will consider bringing this back. Barrister Man, if you happen to be watching, if you can, bring this one back. I think this was a Maggard exclusive, and man, it's good, whew, that is a great scent. I absolutely love it. It's different. I don't think there's anything like this scent out there, which is another reason why I think it's it's so great. Again, Barristan Man Fougere Angelique. And thanks so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.